Hi guys, I'm Thomas from Frost Emotion. Um, I hope my English is understandable. As you maybe know, I'm German and um, we have two, pos two possibilities. Um, I can explain everything in German, it's fine for me. Then you have to learn our language or um, you have to listen to my school English. Um, so let's try the second um, idea. Um, what I'm talking about today is uh, the combination of um, two completely different um, motion systems. We call it the beast. Um, and um, it's a combination of the next level racing GT track, including the V3 motion platform. Um, and for example, if you like, the butt kicker too. And then the traction loss system, which moves the whole cockpit sideways, independently um, the front and uh, the back of the car. So that you have understeer and oversteer effect or losing all four wheels when you're driving too hard in a curve and what we have done is um, we have um, put the prosimo system as a French um, uh, system in our shop last year um, because there is always a discussion if the concept of next level racing is right as you know it's a seat mover so it moves the seat towards the, the, the wheel or backwards, left and right, up to 10 degrees, if you like, or even less when you're going in a race car. Um, and many people, often the people who have never tested such a system before, say, well, that's wrong, because um, in a real car, the seat doesn't move um, corresponding to the, to the wheel or to the pedals. That's right, of course, but we have to simulate it. Um, so the idea is to um, simulate the braking effect by moving the seat a little bit towards the wheel. And what you feel as a driver, that your muscles are, are a little bit um, comprimated, um, they, they, uh, you feel that you are pushed towards the wheel, um, and if you go on the, on the gas, you are accelerating, then the um, seat is pulled away from the wheel, and you feel the same when you're going on the on the um, uh, um, accelerator in a in a powerful car. You're pushed in the seat backwards. It's the same as the seat with the motion platform V3. And when you're going into a curve, maybe a right uh, uh, um, hand curve, uh, for example, Dunlop curve or Nurburgring, you're three uh, seconds in this um, section, and your your upper body goes to the left when you're riding this uh, this turn to the right so the seat um, moves your upper body a little bit to the left your hands and your your um, feet stay in the middle and you feel ah i know that's the same when i'm riding in a car and i'm going too fast into a curve um, and that's very good it's it's uh, working it's working perfectly and the other concept is like a prosimo system to move the whole cockpit um, well um, what we can, cannot do with the um, motion platform we cannot lift the cockpit we cannot lift the seat so when you're going for example in Spa, Francochon, the Urouge or in Nürburgring, Bergwerk um, you feel a comprimate um, um, I do not know the, the word in English um, Kompensation, uh, Komprimierung, um, you're, you're pushed downwards and um, when you're going um, up to Flugplatz um, your, your, um, the car is lifted a little bit so um, with such a concept you can lift the whole cockpit and you can um, force it downwards and of course you can lift it at every edge of the cockpit so that's very good when you're riding on curbs or when you're in a curve or when you have bumps. For example, Spar Francochon has many bumps when you're going to La Source, downwards to Eau Rouge. And you feel every stone on the surface of the track with this system. The combination of both systems is really, really something good. We call it the beast um, because you have both advantages of both um, systems in one system together. 
um, you can lower the effects of every system a little bit and the combination gives you a great feeling of the movement of the car. And I had a, a real race driver, Ronnie Wechselberger, which is um, driving GT3 and Rally Cross car, um, and he says it's about 90-95% close to reality. That's a good idea, I think. Um, so, um, that's the, the concept of our beast. And if you like, you can only buy um, the static adapter. And the static adapter fits directly on the traction loss system. And it's included um, a plate uh, with uh, pre-drilled holes for example the RC RS1 or the RC S1 cockpit. Or you can put your own um, 80-20 um, aluminium cockpit um, on, this, um, on this plate. And then you have a perfect adapter plate to use the traction loss system. Maybe with an RC RS1 cockpit. Maybe this one again with the motion platform because the motion platform fits into the RC cockpits too. We have special adapters for this. Um, and that's the idea to have a modular system um, where you can start, for example, with a static cockpit like the GT Track. Then you add the beat free, maybe the butt kicker. Then you add the traction loss system. And if there's money left, you can add the force to motion um, adapter system, we call it the Beast, as you know, um, and then you get a fully motion cockpit with 8 DOF. Really cool thing. I will show you in some next videos how to configure this in um, our online shop, and I will take a ride on Imola in Italia, um, then you can see how the, the cockpit is moving. So stay tuned.